Welcome to Listworthy's Top 10 List of TV Shows About Secret Societies. If you are a fan of movies like The Da Vinci Code, The Skulls, and The League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, then stick around because the series on this list are definitely for you. Number 10. The Lost Symbol. This TV show, based on Dan Brown's novel, follows a young professor of symbology named Robert Langdon. When his mentor Peter Solomon is kidnapped by a man named Malik, the CIA enlists his help to solve a number of deadly puzzles. He uncovers a wide and chilling conspiracy involving Freemasons and an ancient portal or ancient wisdom that is rumored to grant people godlike power. Number 9. Ares. This horror and mystery story revolves around Rosa, an ambitious young woman who attends school with fellow student Jacob, and aspires to join the ranks of Amsterdam's elite. She finds herself recruited to a secret organization known as the Ares Society, a society that has been around since the Dutch Golden Age and operates at her school. Enticed by the organization's supposed ability to give its members anything and everything they want, Rosa endures a trying and terrifying initiation ceremony in which a fellow novice goes missing. As she begins to make a name for herself among the members, Rosa slowly starts to become aware of the horrifying secrets the organization holds. As she wades deeper into the secret society, she must decide how far she is willing to go to get ahead. Number 8. Warrior Nun. Warrior Nun revolves around a 19-year-old teenager who is brought back to life after accidentally having an angel's halo embedded into her back. Having been a quadriplegic before she died and was resurrected, Ava not only regains her ability to walk, but also gains powers that allow her to see and fight demons. She comes into contact with the Order of the Cruciform Sword when they try to take back the angel's halo. But when the Order realizes that they can't extract the holy artifact from her body without also condemning her to death, she is recruited and trained by the Order to be their warrior nun, a legendary champion against the evil entities of hell who bears the halo of the angel Adriel. At first reluctant to fight, Ava eventually accepts the newfound fate thrust upon her and starts to work alongside other sister warriors, who unlike herself have no superpowers, but are highly skilled and brave. Number 7. The Pentaverate. The Pentaverate is a comedy series that follows Ken Scarborough, a local Canadian journalist, who is on the brink of being fired and is told by his boss to find a hard-hitting story. After attending a conspiracy theory convention, he is inspired to look into and expose the Pentaverate, a secret society that has been run since 1347 during the outbreak of the Black Death. The founders of the organization were learned men who realized that the Black Plague was caused by fleas on rats. However, the church believed the plague to be God's punishment, labeling the five men heretics. So they formed a secret society known as the Pentaverate, to influence world events. What sets this secret society apart from all the others, like the Illuminati, is that they ultimately have humanity's best interest in mind. Riddled with raunchy jokes and meta-humor, this show tells the story of how one journalist is able to reinvent the world's oldest secret society with integrity and kindness. Number 6. The Order. The Order follows student Jack Morton when he first arrives at Belgrave University. Out to get revenge on the father who caused his mother's death, Jack does everything in his power to join the secret society his father leads, the Hermetic Order of the Blue Rose. After coming into contact with the Order, he realizes that it is not an average secret society, but a society that teaches and practices magic and being accepted takes more than just being invited, but passing dangerous tests too. After working his way into the order, by passing his test and killing the golem that had been murdering other recruits, he also comes to discover the Knights of St. Christopher, a rival secret society of werewolves charged with keeping dark magic in check. Number 5. Archive 81. This time-bending horror series follows a man named Dan Turner when he is hired by a mysterious corporation to restore the video documentary footage of a graduate student named Melody Pendraz. This seemingly simple job, however, quickly escalates into a nightmare as he is drawn into a world of magic rituals, demonic cults, a secret society called the Voss Society, witches, and a pan-dimensional god called Kalego, 
whose followers believe they will usher in a new era. Number 4. Lodge 49. This dramedy is about the life of a man named Dud, a former surfer and pool cleaner grieving his mysteriously deceased father. After he is hobbled by a near-deadly snakebite, Dud drifts about life without purpose until he stumbles upon the lodge for the fraternal order of the lynx. That introduction to Lodge 49 gives Dud new purpose, a community of fellow eccentrics and a new mentor in plumbing equipment salesman Ernie. Number 3. Mr. Robot. This widely acclaimed series follows Elliot Alderson, a brilliant but mentally unstable cybersecurity engineer and hacker with social anxiety disorder, clinical depression, and dissociative identity disorder. Elliot is recruited by an insurrectionary anarchist known as Mr. Robot to join a secret society of hacktivists called F Society. Elliot finds himself at a crossroads when Mr. Robot asks for his help to destroy the firm he is paid to protect. Compelled by his personal beliefs, Elliot struggles to resist the chance to take down the multinational CEOs he believes are running and ruining the world. Eventually, he realizes that a global conspiracy does exist, but not the one he expected. Number 2 Lemony Snicket's A Series of Unfortunate Events Narrated by the mysterious and melancholic Lemony Snicket, a series of unfortunate events follows the misadventures of the three siblings, Klaus, Violet and Sonny Baudelaire. When a mysterious fire destroys their home and kills their parents, the Baudelaire children are placed in the care of their distant relative, Count Olaf, an actor who is determined to claim the family fortune for himself. Following Olaf's failed attempt at getting the Baudelaire's fortune and his plot being exposed, the Baudelaire's are placed in the custody of a series of inept or unsympathetic guardians, as they try to elude Olaf and his followers and uncover the mystery behind a secret society known only as VFD, from their parents' past. Number 1. The Boarding School, Las Cumbres. A horror reboot of the 2000 Spanish series, this story follows a group of students who have been placed into a special boarding school for rebellious and troubled teenagers. The school, located in an ancient monastery in a secluded area on top of a mountain, imposes strict and severe discipline that is sometimes just outright abusive. After one of the students goes missing, his friends come to realize that something supernatural inhabits the school grounds and the surrounding forest. After having their claims dismissed as fantasy, a group of students take it upon themselves to find out what happened to their missing friend. Their efforts lead to an ancient secret society, known as the Lodge of the Crow's Nest and to other mysteries at the school, such as hauntings, demonic possessions, exorcisms, torture chambers, and in the case of one girl, mysterious amnesia. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to support the channel by subscribing and hitting the notification bell.